Alright, so in this video here we're going to learn how to import multiple models into your test so you can do multiple cars at a time. Um, it allows you to also compare the different models together um, without having, or obviously, yeah, without having to do multiple different tests over and over again um, and get screenshots and stuff like that um, from separate models. So if you can do it all in the same test, um, at least that ma it makes it a lot easier for you when you're doing um, this for your portfolios or for anything else. All right, so first of all, you know, this is a test that we're running before, so I can just remove that. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to bring in the enclosure. So we hit that before, so I'm going to click show. All right, so that's available for us to look at now. Um, to import our new model, um, obviously what you need to do is when you're in Fusion 360, make changes to your car um, and then obviously save that as a step file. And then what you would do is go to the file menu, insert geometry, all right, and mine is called new wings for answers. I'm going to hit open. And it's going to put the car right on top of the other one. So I'm just going to grab that red arrow and just drag it across this way. Now you want to probably be about 400 millimeters away, okay? Because you don't want the airflow to be interrupting each other while you're doing the test. So do a bit, roughly about two, uh, 400, sorry. All right, I'm just going to click off of that. Now you can see the front wing here is different, obviously, to this one here. So um, that's the change that I've made to my car. Obviously, you guys can do whatever you want, but um, we can yeah look at those and see the differences. Awesome. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate my model around because I need this enclosure to come out over here so this car's inside of it too. So I'm just going to click on this side of the enclosure. I'm going to grab this blue arrow and I'm going to drag it all the way out here. Now, what you can do is go to your top view. All right, and that way you can actually see a little bit better to make sure that your car's all the way in. All right, if you're happy with that, you can just click off of it. All right, and you can see both cars are now inside. So the next thing you need to do is look at your monitors. So at the moment, we've got um, the Y force, which we looked at before, and Z force, but these are still locked onto this car here. All right, so if you want to obviously um, yeah, test this car, this new one, all right, we need to set some new monitors as well. So go to monitors. All right, and then we're going to have to, well, you need to select your car here. We need to highlight over it. So we're going to have to hide the um, enclosure again. All right, so just right click and select hide. All right, and we're going to come over here to the new model. So I'm going to just highlight over the top of it. And then, oh, sorry, let's try that again. Select force first and then highlight over it. And first of all, we're going to select Y and then press tick. All right, so this is the Y force here. All right, so what we can do for this one is we're going to probably get these confused unless you obviously highlight over the top of them. All right, but we can actually right click it and go rename. So I might call this one. Y new wings. All right, so then that way I know that this is the new model, and obviously that one there's the older models. All right, what we can also do as well is do this again, but for the Z, so we can see obviously the differences there. So once again, just select off the car, highlight over it, and we're going to go to the Z. Now I've had this issue before where it doesn't let me accept it for some reason. So I think what I did before is I just cancelled out and sorry, cancelled out of it. And then I went to select, clicked on here again, tried that again. Yeah, it's already in force. And then here, yeah, we can make sure that's Z. Alright, and then for some reason now it allows me to accept it. Alright, so I'll click on that. Once again, let's just rename. And we'll make this one new wings. Awesome. All right, so now we can close down these. 
All right, and as you can see, obviously you're starting to collect some results uh, from the simulation. So we can solve again. All right, and you can see it's doing its thing to both cars now. So um, straight away, you can start analyzing both of them. For me personally, I'm not a big fan of the vectors. All right, I think probably, yeah, the direction field is probably one of the better ones that you can do. So like I showed you before, you can grab the arrow, drag it down to a certain point. So let's say we wanted to just analyze this from a top view. All right, you can work out and just look at the differences of you know how the airflow interacts between both of them. All right, so there's one thing that you could do. Um, just rotate this around. So once again, we could rotate this around. We can go across to the front wings over here. All right, and you can see straight away, you got a lot less turbulent flow with this wing. All right, the airflow is pushing up and over that wheel, so it's looking pretty good. All right, then once again, you can drag it over here. All right, and analyze this uh, front wing. So you can see heaps of turbulent flow between the wheel and the wing. All right, so obviously you can already make an assumption that that one there um, is obviously going to give you less turbulent flow and it's going to flow around your wheel nicely. All right, so. Yeah, this is what you can do. You can just play around with all these settings here. Obviously, look at the streamlines, um, compare the two, take some screenshots. Um, you've got obviously particles here as well. So you can really start to see while the animation is running, you know, how that interacts. Um, and then obviously, like I showed you before, you can have a look and compare your data here as well. Okay. So as you can see, it's all pretty similar at the moment. Um, but as that simulation runs through, obviously, um, things will probably start changing. All right, so I paused the video for a little bit and I've gone through and yeah, just changed the fidelity up so you get more accurate results. Um, but obviously, yeah, there's not enough change in the actual model itself to really give us any data that's really um, significant all the results seem to be pretty similar. Um, but what you could do is obviously, if you've made a, a pretty big changes to your car, what I would do is I would come along and you know, select the Y force for the first model, the Y force for the second, and you can start comparing the data with each other. You know, it wouldn't be bad to do some screenshots as well to show a bit of evidence of this as well. All right, and obviously the same with your Z um, force as well. Okay, so there's heaps of different things that you can do to analyze your data. Um, to see if you're making improvements or if um, your results are getting worse and then you can make some changes um, from there. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.